Hello and welcome everyone, Lahart here with part 7 of the Kirk and Let's Play for Total War Saga Thrones of Britannia. We continue where we left things off last time. Thank you once again for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions, it's all greatly appreciated, do keep them coming. Also be sure to check out the link pinned to the top of the comment section to the Total War Community Academy, where there's a weekly game giveaway every Friday for those that share their advice, tactics, hints and tips on any of the Total War games there, so do check it out. So, last episode, having thrown Strathclute from our walls at Schoon, I'm now going to sally on out and finish off this army, hopefully. If pulled back, so that's a good sign. Wow, yeah, that's an absolute slam dunk of an order resolve. Beautiful. I thought those longbows might cause a little bit more trouble, but I guess we do massively outnumber them. So that's good. Clears them away. I think... Just going to move forward a little bit more here, so we're in our own territory. Fortify to replenish on up. Pop in the Quartermaster upgrade there. And then, yeah, we'll see if we can go and grab this settlement over here uh, next turn. Although we've got to keep an eye on this army of Strathclute, but we'll see. They might move up towards Skonin. We'll, uh, we'll wait and see. do have a little bit of a food uh, problem right now, but if we set the... Two terrain building at Schoon to repair. We'll get another plus 50 food production next turn. Uh, go away, all the notifications telling me places are unhappy. I know. I'm uh, not going to pop another governor in just yet. You need more repairs, but I don't think I've got enough money for that because I've got some loyalty issues. Although, you're my one that's floating around. Oh, you've got a follower upgrade. Oh, straight into priest then. Yeah, there we go. Secure that loyalty. Now just one remaining, which is my governor. Yeah. Um, just realised as well, we haven't got anyone with the... Justicar um, office yet. But I won't throw that out just yet. We might wait until we get another chap that's a bit disloyal. That can help... Um, Secure their loyalty. So yeah, uh, Aelin, I'm gonna have to probably secure it. I reckon. Uh, bribe with words or torture. I'm gonna bribe with words. We'll lose one influence, but that gets his loyalty secured. Command the long ships. You guys are attritioning because you're out of supplies, and you'll be able to take this settlement next turn, which is the fishing village. So more food. Good. Good. Can I repair anything else? Nope. Okay, um, King Aid will move you over here, replenishing, and then had we moved, no, then you round here, that's a religious estate, so that will help secure loyalty as well, if we dish that out. Right, let's end the turn. Yeah, they're going towards um, Skonin, so they're going to go take that. I think that's... Is that industry for us? I'll swoop around the back and take the other settlements. Although I've got to be careful of that 19 stack that's still roaming around the lands. I reckon we need to take out at least one more of Strathclute's armies before they'll consider piecing out with us. Right, food's back up, and a worthy bride. Oh, she is... Oh, plus one arrogant. Minus one influence the husband. That's that's good. Zeal, governance. You are a governor, though, right now. I don't want to lower... Yeah, give blessing. I don't want to intervene. Something of a deterrent. Truly a lion among men, this man is a living example of, of, for others to follow. If only every one of your retainers was so strong, then all your problems would melt away like the setting sun at the end of a long day. So make a show of strength and I'll get... I'll see public order, all regions of six turns, or unit morale plus three, all army... No, definitely public order. Make a show of strength. Definitely that. You guys are attritioning... Oh, it's because we're out of... Uh... They've gone back that way. Okay. I'm going to move on up here. But, oh, we need to... We need to go into fortified stance. No, nope, we're just attrition because we've run out of supplies. 
Okay, well, we can move further up next turn. Fleet ready to sail. Go follow. No governors just yet, because don't want to risk more loyalty problems. Get that away. They're settling down to go and capture some of the regions we've taken, but that's fine. We can do a bit of a, a swap up here then. Pop you back into the sea so we can send you out. Good. And yeah, there. Army's there. We can move you guys though. Claim that back. Oh, we can see that army's still pulling back over there. No traps. You guys can't reach me. So if you move and take... It's got, that is my... Okay, yeah, it's my copper mine. That's fine. I can move down here. Grab that. Maybe even... That's better. Maybe to then cut across again. <laughs> Maybe. We could recruit some more units into this army. Gonna need to challenge you guys at some point. For the glory of the gales. Do that for now. We're getting some really good replenishment. You guys going there. Other than that, then the turn. going to go and hit Dune for you there. You are. Looks like we've got another siege this episode, boys. <laughs> oh, dear. But if we are successful with pushing them back, that neutralizes that northern threat quite nicely. Uh, so, yeah, I'm quite happy bringing King Aid down to try and smash Strathclu. I think that's what we need to do right now, to be honest. The sooner we can push them back and out of our territory and wipe out their forces the better. Power Tussle. East Engel and Northumbria declare war on each other. Each annexes their Viking vassals. More than you bargain for. All the sherry grandstanding you've undertaken is making your neighbours, friends and rivals alike justifiably nervous. Expect there to be consequences when it comes to talk of treaties. Major diplomatic penalty towards all other factions for six turns. Oh, god damn it. It's not what I need right now. Right, you guys are replenishing finally. Oh, we can go and take it. Sweet. Go, go, go. We might not be in range. But that gives us more food. It's a hunting camp. So from there, we can pull you down and see off Strathclute. They've moved there, so they actually haven't gone in for it yet. So I can... Pretty sure. Oh, they're, they're 19 stacks over that way. For the so, I need to, yeah, probably look to recruit more. We've got to be careful, though, because we are going to start losing. Command the long ships for the territory soon, because you guys are probably going to sail on there and take that out. And that means I lose 45 food. We sail with the tide. You're going to go claim that one, so we won't be at a loss for too long. Never. Our bravery is legendary. But if we are able to go in and take Shreth Belin, okay, it should recover then. Our every foe shall fall. You, my governor. Oh, you are very upset because of estates. Okay, I'm going to give you priest anyway. So we did get a religious estate, which I'm going to give someone that doesn't have one. Um, you keep kicking off all the time, so let's give you that one. Oh, that hasn't kept everyone happy. Damn it. Because estates are low. I better give it... I'm going to have to give away this one. We're about to lose it, though, but it will locate him the turn. Oh, seriously? Why does that upset you? More influential than ruler. Ah, 
Actually, has anyone... That chap... You don't have a... I could give you this one. But that'll give you more, even more influence than me. Probably not a great idea, but let's try it. Oh, no, there we go. That sorted him out. Lovely. Right. Did cost me an agricultural estate, though. For the glory of but if we can build this up a little bit more. Great. Another swords. I think we should go... I get two cavalry. I think we should probably have two cavalry units in there now. Really pushing our economy, but we need to be able to stand up against their armies a bit better. I'm assuming you guys aren't producing as much at the moment because you're under siege. Let's see though. Okay. Okay. Let's end the turn. I think we moved everything now that we need to, and I guess we'll have the. Siege at Dune Foyther. Unless they're going to wait out another turn. You want to take Scon in. going to hurt my income. That's going to hurt my food. And Dune Foyther is attacked. That is a lot of javelins. Scouts. What's our map like? They're going to be the same layout as the other ones. No. Ooh. That looks... Oh, it's this one. I know this one. I've wanted to have a defense on this map for ages. Yes, finally. Right, let's do it. All the all the time throughout my um, Gwyneth Let's Play, I desperately wanted a siege on this map, a siege defense, and I don't think I ever got one. So happy, happy days. Finally get to fight a defense on it. Right. So yeah, we don't want to deploy out there. They're all over here. Um, I actually want to deploy like my archers up here. Fire on down as they, they get on through. They've got loads of towers. Part of me says don't even bother trying to hold the outer wall. Because we can just... Hold my archers there. Or even just have my archers over here. And just spears in here. We can create a massive choke point. We can just rain down arrows and death from above with javelins. I think I'm going to go for that. The victory point is over here. They've got a capture. So if they do push us back, let's get barricades here to slow them down. I think where are the best places to pop all my archers? Probably here and then shuffle along. Javelins even fire on down, they can. So I want spears. It's like a two square jo Oh, look at that. Yes, please. Oh, will they not go side by side? Okay, they'll have to go there then. So they go there. We put the other spear unit there and then I'm going to put in swords behind plus that unit over here that looks good to me I reckon for my archers down a bit. General up here. Uh, no, general over here. Maybe should have put one unit defending that gap, but they've got towers, so they're just going to come on in with that. I've waited for this day for so long. Prepare for battle. Hoping this works. We use the choke point we've created here. To break them. Oh, I've just sent all my archers off. Thought I'd accidentally given a command. Good thing the enemy's not here for a while. Oh no. 
Uh, hang on, come on, guys. Why are we messing up? You guys go there. You guys go there. Eager to fight. It shall be. Of course. There we go. They've got the walls. But are they gonna go? They're just gonna wait for it to catch. No, we're gonna get them with some burning oil. Those Norse warriors. What are their Norse warrior stats like? They are 40 melee skill, 38 melee damage. Yeah, our melee skill's higher. Good. That's it, burn them a bit more before they capture it, and they're gonna drip feed their infantry forward by the looks of things. They moved up their whole army. Their hunters could be a bit of a problem. We'll have to wait and see. I could have harassed them with archers over here, but then by the time I'd pulled them back and round, we wouldn't have them over here ready to fire. If I had a much larger army, then I definitely would have sl split up some of my forces, pop them here, or even up on the cliffs over this way. Let's hope my archers do a good job of thinning these guys as they approach, which it looks like they're doing. I have to hope I have enough ammunition. Outnumber me by 500. The enemy have captured the gates. They have. Attack the walls, men! Hoping they just come in one by one like this. Our archers should have plenty of fun. I mean, they've lost nearly, nearly 200. I think my general's going to need to be down here, perhaps, to lure their archers along to try and fire on him, but also to give the aura around there. Oh, it's Aelin. I mean, we could solve our problems with him being quite annoying for us, loyalty-wise, by getting him killed in this battle. But we have just secured him, so hopefully we won't need to do that. That's it, just thin them, hit them in their backs and their flanks. They can't do anything. They've got to try and push forward. Yes, yes, yes. Thrones is imperfect in a lot of places, but one place it is not is in its siege warfare. In terms of the map layout, at least. are holding. I'll wait until they get a bit closer because we've got javelins. But I'm going to move them along so they can fire directly down on them. And I'm actually glad that they've brought their archers up last because it means my archers are going to be focusing on taking out their infantry rather than anything else. Go javelins, go. Nice. Okay, they've lost nearly 400, and we've lost uh, 30. Oh no, wait, Spears, you hold here. Send the swords forward. Big problem is going to be we're going to run out of ammo pretty soon. No way we can flank on round them. Let 
going to shuffle all my archers so that I'm really not interested in countering their archers with my troops. I'd rather focus on trying to whittle down their infantry a bit more. It's alright at the moment. Because we don't have a way of getting a rear charge in this time. But we've nearly drawn forces even. thing I can think of is that we pull you guys here and as they spill on out we hit them from both sides you guys have run out of ammo good I can't even I mean, I could go out my own gate and flank on round to get in behind them, but they've now captured that gatehouse. I mean, I wonder if... Can I go up the siege towers, I wonder? out. Actually, yeah, get the archers to waste their ammo on you. The same with you. Get them to waste their ammo on my archers. Javelins, what's your melee stats? Not great. What about my archers? So not great. How are we doing? We have killed more of them than they have of mine. You guys have been hit a lot. Ole! You've now got 200 men less than I do. No one's seeing the one spear unit round behind, but it should do the job. You guys are out of ammo now. Fine. unit gap now. Good. Keep it going. Right, we're out of ammo with all my archers. Probably best to keep them up here. Don't know if that tower can fire down on them. 
I'm assuming not, which is kind See, of annoying. They flee before our might. Doesn't look like anything's being shot out from it. As they're firing. Oh yeah, they are. So we might just be able to push more units forward. Balance power is now shifted, I would say, into even. I'm going in. Everything forward into this. Yeah, they've got more braking. Spears are getting round. That looks like they're going to take that siege tower. It means we can recapture these gates. So let's do that with them. In that case, I could send my general round. But I think his aura is probably worth keeping around these guys right now. Let's just sit and enjoy the frontline scrap for a little bit. I did. I, there was one comment last episode that just made me chuckle brilliantly. It was just, I think it was uh, heroic bagpiping intensifies. <laughs> Love it. If I had bagpipes, I would be breaking them out right now to rally my men. Thankfully, they're also kind of killing some of their own troops with their, those archers. My extra troops there. They are. Swordsmen. Forward. We're going to push them back now. Surge forward. We'll leave the spears where they are, though. Chaps, I know you're tired. We're holding about a 350-man lead at the moment. Some of them are fresh, though, pushing forward now, though, so that's good. Ooh, nearly, nearly a 400 man lead. How far ahead are we of those? Squares. Yeah, pretty far now we push forward. Rule the day, Sithraya. Welcome to the Valley of Death. Straight for that siege tower. Don't think I, can go on. I don't think I can go on. Good. Once you're up, we'll um, 
set you to capture the gates, and then we'll move on those archers. Go, 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 men. Right, so note to self, next time we need to flank around like that, we can definitely use the uh, enemy siege equipment to flank on around. Just help trap them in the back. It might backfire a little bit on us. We'll have to see. They are surging back on forward now. We have that 400-man lead. In total, we've only lost 400 of our own garrison, whereas they've lost 1,400 so far. Perfecto. And we're capturing. Spearmen! Got to rest a moment. Run, warriors! Quick march! On the double! There you go. Get into the zone and capture. You guys should be long out of ammo. Knock them out. Charge these guys in the rear. But only after you guys have recovered. I'd be tempted to send my general round now. Should probably send him a bit earlier, but that's fine. Morale should hold. Bounce power is shifting towards us. Come on. Go capture that tower so it'll stop firing on you. Bring all my archers down here. They need more morale. Now shaken. That's going to lead them to it. Back soon. You guys are back to being winded now. Gates are nearly ours. There we go. Need them all to get up there now. Afford to triple speed it. Keep watching those numbers. We've got the 400 lead just. Just had another unit break. A couple of them wavering or rallying back. In you come, General. Why is half your unit still over there? No matter. Some couple of rear charges should help break these guys. They're all surging forward. Hold. Fresh. Look toward the fences. Triple speed. Alright. Wedge. That's their general at the back now. Let's go for it. Massive. Get out of there. That'll definitely shift the balance power a fair ways towards us. It's conduct too much. We lost 10 
cavalry units in that charge. See, they flee before our might. Eager to fight. Ready for war. Into formation. Strike now. Push forward. Hoping we can break this unit. They're losing loads, their units. Good. Charging Poppy in the back. This should see him off. They got slaughtered. Lovely pinning. Yeah, more of them all breaking. Hunt down all these guys so that not many of them make it out. The battle is turning in our favor. Turning? Pretty sure it turned a while back now. We are massively outnumbered. Kill them all. Destroy their defense! Yours to come out! Crush them! You guys should get doused in oil as you go out here. Maybe not. Uh, I'll be shot out by the towers. Right, it's just their general left. Surrounded on all sides. I'll fight bravely, but they will all fall. But that one, he'll fall because he's not got a head anymore. Oh, that one hasn't got a head now. There we go. And that is the way the Sothraean cookie crumbles. That was a lot of fun. They might have some troops that survive this battle, but they're not going to have many. we go. Definitely worth fighting that one. Close vic- uh, I mean it was a little bit close for a while. Started off being pretty close. We have 1,143 remaining. They have 127. That army has been obliterated. 241 kills with Aelin. Archers did well. They used up all their ammo. That's good. Swordsman. Solid. Le one cavalry unit. Wow. You're going to start recruiting again. I mean, I could try and spawn another army in there just to go and grab it. We've lost quite a few food producing settlements now. So we're minus 70. So we do need to rectify that pronto. I don't think we'd even need a... I think if we if we start mustering, it's gonna take a turn before we can even move. Oh, for trio! Why did you have to attack Orknea? They're gonna go take my territory in the north now. 
Ah, but they're going to join the war against Sothrea, I guess, so keep that going. They just go and sack that. What are you doing? Oh, for trio, you crazies. I wonder if I could actually get peace with Sothrea, having just smashed that army. Your visit comes at an inconvenient yeah, we could. Time. We could peace out with them. I mean, they've got a lot of our territory. But they have just lost a Mahusiv army. I went and grabbed that settlement from them. I went and grabbed that from them, which we can do. Ready to sail. That'll be 68 food. I'll nearly sort out our problems. With this what army... Where's that 19... 19 stack... Well, it's now 20 stack. We could go and take Streth Belen, which would also give us food. And you're about to take that religious estate, which won't give us any food, but then you can move along to uh, Din Prius. But you've got to be careful of that army. King Aid can move down this way and then march on the Strathclute army. Ah, but it's so tempting to want to spawn in uh, another lord over here to try and push back against the broken Sothrean forces right now. Otherwise, Fortrio could move in against them. I guess... Let me just double check. They are at war with them right now. Yeah, they are. Good. Right. Uh, I'm guessing... Orknea. No, I can't peace out with them. But yeah, Sothrea. We're strength rank 4. They're 12. You are not welcome at my door. Might be worth piecing out with them temporarily, but I don't really want to give them that sort of northeast section. Would allow me to focus on Strathclute for a bit. You much, but I will hear you. We still need. To, uh, once we wipe out that army, I think, with King Aid, we'll be able to reclaim these territories here and then peace out with Strathclute for a bit. Right, well, we'll do all that and more next time. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride in the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Till the next one, ciao for now.